Manchester United against Manchester City come on the day on Sunday in the Manchester Derby. This is a preview for the Manchester Derby. In this game, it's a very... Um, I know, I know some United fans want us to lose this game to set the point that they don't want the manager at the club. But if we're looking to at least get top four, well, this needs to be down a bit. If we're at least looking to be, to be top four, this is the type of games we should be winning and close the gap between us and Aston Villa because we're still in touching distance in the top four spot. Now, I know some Manchester United fans want to say that we're not going to get top four and I understand the angle they're coming from. But if we are at least consistent with our scrappy wins, because that's what we have been doing up until our last game that we lost, which was needed to set a reality in our heads that scrapping wins won't get it this far. It is not sustainable. But in Manchester United, in a Manchester derby, no matter regardless of the form you're in, this is a this can go. Um, actually, this game is not really in our favor. If you look at our injury list, and this is no excuse by any stretch, our main some of main some of our main players are out with injury. Is me, so this game is against us. Any well, well, well persons don't expect us to win for one and for two. Even if all our players fit, there is much. There is not much to it. Some persons would think, but our injury list has involves Harry Maguire. He's injured. Um, he's out. Rasmus Holland is out. Luke Shaw is out and Lissandra Martinez with Mason Mount, Aaron Bissaka and Malasia is out. Now some person is saying that man Malasia Malasia retired from football. Malasia is in hiding, is me. My my Malasia ain't playing no football. I've <laughs> can't recall when it was the last time this guy played football. Which means that since our two left backs are out with injury, Sophia uh, Sophia and Ramabrat will be starting at left back. Um, so yeah, so based on the injuries that we have right now, it's not the fixture is not really enough again. It's not like we go in anyway, but I'm saying that we this is there is a slim chance that we can win, but we can still win this game. Like, we can still win this game. I'm gonna say right now, we can still win this game because again, regardless of form in a Manchester derby, we can still win this game. There have been games in the past where number one. We were at the top of the table and Manchester City go beat us. In their worst ever era, Man City go beat us in our in Manchester United, uh in the Manchester Derby. Two thousand three, some black bridge in a, uh scored some goal. He, he embarrassed um Gar Nelvan was scored goal. We lost that um derby. We lost the two thousand and seven, two thousand and eight derby at home against Man City and they were not top of the league against us. We won the league that season. So it doesn't matter what form we're in right now. It doesn't matter what form we're in right now. We can still shoot one a goal off our neck or our shoulder and score and we'll still win the game. So this is the Manchester Derby. So what are this what are what is at stake? Well for the Manchester uh, the Man uh, everything I basically said that uh, the Bruno Fernandes got um he was you know limping you know in the last game that he's available for Sunday's game, isn't me? And with Al uh, Varan Varan, um, he said that Varan it was doubtful. He says here that Varan was doubtful, but he'll be available. So I guess that's a, a plus if you want to take it like that. Um, but yeah, man, in this Manchester derby, um, against a Man City side that let's be honest is that is not at the pinnacle of their peak. This is not a peak Man City. This is not a peak Man City side by any stretch of the imagination, but because of the quality that they have. They can get away with it. They have a world class striker. They have world class midfielders. They have a world class uh go uh I've, I would say I wouldn't say no. Edison is a very good goalkeeper, but I would say he's not world class like Allison, but he's um he's close or he's very good, you know. But the the point is that they are very good players. Is me so and they have a style of, an implemented style of play. They have a planted, cemented style of play that they will portray and display on the football pitch. We don't have a no style of play. We don't even know we don't even know our football identity. I get man. I said this early early this season. We're playing like headless chickens that don't even know the players that we're playing with. And we don't have a style of play. But regardless of that, we can't still win this game. Regardless of that. So if man sitting on top of the table, hey man, this is again going back to what I'm saying. Six years ago. We won the, the Man City derby after being 2-0 down. And if Man City won this game, 
if Man City won this game, you know, they won the league, you know. They won the league. Well, they have won the league anyway, but I believe they would get the Premier League trophy then. That was on the 7th of April. I remember vividly. The 7th of April, 2018. Pogba scored two goals and Sanchez... Um, actually, Chris Mongo scored a winning goal. So it doesn't matter what form we're in. We can still win this game. Yeah, I'm saying it with, with chess. We can still win this game. Now... Before I wrap up the video, um, a few things I want to say about Man City. No, like I said, Man City is not the far is not the city of old. They have a few loopholes in 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 their defense, and they have been conceding like crazy. This this uh, I mean, they go concede four goals against Chelsea. When was the last time them go concede four goals against any side in the Premier League? When was the last time Pep Guardiola side ever concede four goals in a game? And that was at the Bridge. We're playing at Man City. Things can, th funny things can happen at, at, at the Emirates Stadium. It's me. So, we can still win this game. Now, of course, Rashford is not is not a a, a Manchester United favor, favorite at the moment. And he hasn't been one for quite some time now. And since Rashford's Holland is out with injury, he's the main four goal to start up top. Rashford can't start up top. But he's gonna start up top. He, he, you know what? Let me get into the starting line before I start complaining. On oh, no, on goal, right back is Dalo. Dalo has been very immense this season. He's colossal. He has improved his game. He has matured as a player. He's made of he's made defensive errors, of course, but he's still improved overall. He's a most improved player in my opinion. Center back, I believe Victor Lindelof is still out. Um. I believe it's either I'm going with either uh, Victor Lindelof or Varane. No, Victor Lindelof and Varane or Varane and. Hmm. 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 Uh, is Evans out with injury? If he's not out with injury, then I'm backing him to start with um, Rafael Varane come on Sunday. And left back is Sophia and Armour, but that will be inverted. Whatever the hell that means. I'm not... Dude, I'm old school. Dude. I don't care about these inverted left backs, whatever. I know I know, I've, I know, Shevchenko does it for Arsenal. Or Arsenal fans would like to think he does. Trent Ox Ox does that. You know, this bedroom creates from midfield. He drops in midfield and creates. And he's a right back. Um... So, yeah, if 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 Armour can do a job at left back and keep out uh, Bernardo Silva, whoever playing wide, then cool. If Doc is playing left... Wait. Wambisaka... Wait, is Wambisaka out with injury? Did I say... Uh, Wambisaka is out with injury. Refresh my memory for a bit. Okay, he's out with injury, so Doc is going to have quite some... The thing is that if Doc Let's go... Let's, if Doc starts... And I know so we shouldn't worry about the, the opposition, but let me say something right now. If Doc starts... On the right hand side, he can cause a problem because Sofia and Amrabat is not a natural left. He's not a left back, period. He's not a left back. He's not even a, a defender. He's a midfielder. So he's going to have probably some joy on the right hand side. Now, if he can go on the left hand side against Dalo, equal, equally so, which is most likely the case if Grealish doesn't, if Grealish doesn't start. This me. Dalo has been in good, is been in good form this season, but. If he fails to defend against the speedy Belgian, that's Jeremy Doku, J Jeremy Doku, he's gonna have problems. He's gonna have problems. I know say he's a chicken head. I know this bedroom is all about the pace, no dribble, but he still poses a threat. Which means that we cannot be giving City that enough space that they thrive off. No, City don't need space to play football anyway. But the point is that give if they go play Doku on the left hand side. That can exploit the space with the pace that he has, then it's going to cause a problem. It's me. Hoyland. Hoyland. We have to watch out for Holland, man. So, this is going to be based on the center box that I just mentioned. Varan and Evan. No, Evans is not no 25 year old, he's a 35 year old defender. And Varan is in the, lap, in the last chapters of his. Peak. No, I believe Varan has passed his peak, but he's still a quality defender. They still need to. Keep this bridging at bay. 
we cannot give this brethren space and we can't allow him to head at the ball. No, he's not the best at hitting the ball, but the point is that we cannot give him space to do none of that because that can still be worked on in training. Um, De Bruyne. This is going to be based on who we play midfield, you know. This is going to go back to the, the starting lineup that I'm going to continue a bit. We have to shut out that brethren. We have to shut him out. De Bruyne, Rodri, if, is, if you see Rodri coming forward, you know say in trouble. You know say in trouble. If this bridging go take a shot out of the box, you know say you know you know say you're in trouble. This is a clutch player for Manchester City, and he has been that way since last season. So you have to go watch out for this bridging. And it's and and I haven't said that since since Sergio Busquets was in his prime for Barcelona. That bridging is a quality threat for Man for Man City, although he's a defensive midfielder. So anyway, continuing my starting lineup in midfield. Kobe mine on Casimir. Is Casimiro uh suspended? No, no, he's not suspended. So I'm going to Kobe Mino and Casimiro in midfield. Bruno Fernandes as the number 10, of course. On the right hand side, I'm going with Anthony. Dude, this let me let me say, let me say something. I said something in my uh in my pre, in my match reaction when we lost against who we lost against? Um Fulham at home. Because I know Sir Rashford is no striker, going back to my point earlier. Why not play Bruno Fernandes as a false nine? Rash, uh, Rashford on the left hand side and Gunnar on the right hand side. And as you don't have to even play a number 10, man. Just play three midfielders that work to get the ball. And you know, Kobe Minor can you know push up slightly and distribute it. Is me? That's what I'm thinking, man. I know it's, it's I know it's creative thinking, but and, and I know the most personal of that side to them, but think about it. Bruno Fernandez has a false nine. Rashford on the left hand side. Gonacho, who has who who's been better on the right hand side this season. Is me. That's how the starting line of particularly the front three should be. You don't have to play no number ten, man. Cause when you play as a false nine, you're basically a number ten anyway. You just you're just dropping deep. To link the more advanced wingers, to link the advanced wingers. You know, much difference to it. But I know most persons don't think like that, isn't me? Especially Erting Hog. And I know he's gonna start Rashford as striker. See, this is gonna kill us because Rashford is not no link man. Rashford cannot play with his back to goal. Rashford cannot play in tight spaces. And Rashford against Ru Ruben Diaz and whoever playing centre back. That's not going to look good, man. Rashford is a player that needs space to, to be effective, to be efficient. Rashford is a space, if, if, uh, space, space efficient type player. And if you don't give this Bredry no space, he's going to be flaccid. He's going to be he's going to he's going to be non existent. Basically, he's not going to have no space. If you don't give this guy no space, his game is done. It's not, I mean he can play through the middle hill. He's played through the middle when he when he just came to Man Man United. But that side to him has been drained out by by the management of Mourinho and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. So don't be expecting this bridging, although it can happen. Like I said, anything can happen in Manchester City, uh, in Manchester Derby. Having Rashford as a striker is going to hamper our chances of scoring goals. It's going to. Best chance is to play Rashford on the left hand side. Bruno has the false nine and Gunnacho on the um on the right hand side. But what do I know, man? Like and leave on you leave your comments on below in the comment section. Um and what you think on this game. Yeah man, this game man, this game can go both ways. We can lose this game, they can lose this game. They can draw this game. Well when they draw this game, both sides draw the game. And both sides can win the game anyway, man. This is a man city dot this is a man city derby. A Manchester derby that can go both ways. Isn't me? So we have to look at ourselves despite the injuries that we have and say to ourselves that this is not our best this is not the best Manchester City side and they can get and they can be gotten at. If we don't give them space, plus we shouldn't be giving them space anyway, because if we go play a high line and we're playing Evans, Evans again, Evans is not twenty five years old. He not space. He, not, he, don't have the, he doesn't have speed to be catching up. To when Walker advances, 
or you know pushes on the right hand side and Bernardo Silva is in the pocket of space in the hole and De Bruyne is in the middle and you have whoever uh, Phil Foden they're going to come at us this is at Man City's yard backyard is me that we're going to them yard to play ball is me so they're going to have home advantage so we have to make sure that our defense is tightly knit or them go, them go, them go punch out our defense and go score a goal. De Bruyne, everybody should know how De Bruyne plays already. Should I have to like basically break it down for you to, to tell you how De Bruyne plays? When De Bruyne get the ball on the right hand side, you know that ball is going to go in the box. Particularly if you see Haaland in that box. If Haaland is in that box, De Bruyne is looking for him enough story, period. They, that ball is going to be put in the box. So we have to go watch out for that. He's going to be spamming crosses. He's going to be putting balls across the face of the ground, across the face of the box. So we have to watch out for that. That is what has, that is that is what killed us last season against Man City. We couldn't keep up to those when those balls are played across the face of the goal into Holland. So this is a, a much... I mean... Person goes say yeah we, we 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 need to win this game if we want to get top four but is it possible though is are we are, are we really going to go for this game given the players that are out with injury leave your comments below in the comment section comment section below comment section below leave your comment section leave your comments in the comment sections below like and subscribe to the channel this is a game where again bro we can go. Both sides. We can win this game, they can win this game, we can lose this game, they can lose this game. So is me leave your comments up below in the comment section. With that being said, I'll show it to you guys in the match reaction on Sunday. I'm out.